Today I want to tell you about an amazing cactus that produces edible fruit called the dragon fruit cactus. It is a tree climbing cactus as you can see. It's growing up this palm tree here. And it produces these long, um, I don't know, vine-like cactus. And at the end of them, when it's season, and it's not season right now, but it'll produce these red fruit that are about the size of a plum. The thorns on these cactus are not a problem at all. They're very easy to avoid. It's a you know triangular prism kind of shape to the to the cactus itself. And uh, so that's not a problem getting stuck. Okay, now let's talk about how to grow it. This is an extremely easy cactus to grow, like most cactus like this that grow in a in a uh, column like shape. What you do is you take one of these, like this one right here, you take that, you cut it at the base, this cactus piece, you cut it at the base, you leave it somewhere, not in the sun, uh, not in the shade, just partly shady area, let it dry, the tip that you cut, let it dry out, it'll callus, what they call callus, which is it'll produce a dry end to it. Uh, then you bury it, the calloused end, in the soil, uh, preferably a sandy, dry soil. It will take water though. Bury it in the soil uh, about three inches deep. Water it occasionally. I don't water them at all, really, and they will grow. They're kind of slow to start, but once they start, they'll go and grow fast up the tree, but it just takes a little while for them to get started. Uh, one other thing to mention is that they will climb a tree rapidly, as you can see it has done in this tree right up into this sable palm, and that's great. I think it makes an interesting interesting look. It's hard to get rid of once you've done that, keep in mind, but that's one way to do it. Another way is to grow it up on a trellis. Uh, that's the way I do it. Here you can see the root on this one growing down into the ground around it. But what a great and interesting conversation piece grow edible in your backyard. Keep in mind it's a subtropical to tropical type of fruit, so if you're trying to grow this in northern areas, you're going to want to make sure you bring it in, grow it in a large pot and bring it in in the winter. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like it. If you like it, Come on back and check out some more. We've got lots of them and more coming all the time on our YouTube channel called Eat Your Backyard. Eat Your Backyard. And uh, I hope you come back and check it out and subscribe. Thanks for watching.